is easy. Mm -hmm. And what? And my burden is light. You know, church, coming to Jesus is easy. He took the heart out of it when he died for us. Yes. Mm -hmm. He died for our sins. He took the heart out of it. Let me show you something. St. Matthew's 14th chapter. Mm -hmm. uh, we often think that we got things that are weighing us down, that are stopping us from coming to Jesus, mm -hmm. preventing us from giving the man our hand and God our heart. I'm going to show you something. St. Matthew's 14 chapter, mm -hmm. 22nd verse. Mm -hmm. says what? Read the first couple of verses, 22 through, keep on reading down. And straightway Jesus constrained his disciples to get into a ship uh -huh. and go before him unto the other side while he, set, where he sent the multitude away. And? And when he had sent the multitude away, uh -huh. he went up into a mountain apart to pray. And? and when the evening was come, when the was, evening was come, he was there alone. But mm -hmm. what? But the ship was now in the midst of the sea. The ship was now in the midst of the sea. Mm -hmm. Amen. And what was happening? Tossed with the waves. There was waves mm -hmm. on both sides of the ship. Mm -hmm. The ship was just tossing to and fro mm -hmm. as a result of the waves. Mm -hmm. And what's to say? For the wind was contrary. Say it again. For the wind was contrary. You know, there is always something that will work against you when you are trying to be righteous. Amen. The wind was contrary. When you are trying to live a righteous life, yes. there's going to be some contrariness. Mm -hmm. Did I use that word right, teachers? Yes. Contrariness? What's the proper way of saying it? Contrary? Yes. Contrariness. Thank you. I'm going to make sure we do everything right around here. Amen. <laughs> So when you're trying to live a righteous life, mm -hmm. there's going to be some things that are coming along that are contrary. Just ain't acting right. Mm -hmm. 25 says what? And in the fourth watch of the night. In the fourth watch of the night, Jesus went unto them. Doing what? Walking on the sea. He was doing what? Walking on the sea. He was walking on the yeah. sea. Does everybody's Bible say that? Everybody's Bible said it? Okay, mm -hmm. good. We don't have to go there. Amen. He was walking on the sea. Amen. And what? And when the disciples saw him walking on the sea. Now, when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were what? Troubled. And said what? Saying, it is a spirit. That's not Jesus. <laughs> and what? And they cried out for fear. And they did what? And they cried out for fear. 27 said what? But straightway Jesus spake unto them, saying, uh -huh. Be of good cheer, mm -hmm. it is I, be not afraid. When you see Jesus, <laughs> yeah. don't doubt that it's him. Mm -hmm. Don't let the devil tell you, well, that's not God talking to you. Yeah. If it's God, he's going to make it evident that it's mm -hmm. God. There's not going to be a shadow of a doubt that it's God. Jesus said, to be of good cheer, it is I. And he told him, don't be afraid. Mm -hmm. 28 says what? And Peter answered him and said, Lord. Peter answered him and said, Lord, what? If it be thou, bid me to come Peter into the other world. a little bit that it is Jesus, yes. because otherwise he wouldn't have said, if it be thou. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. But Peter being in the flesh, he doubted and said, Lord, well, if it is you, Bid me to come on the water with you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and what? And he said, come. And he said, what? Come. And he said, what? Come. He told Peter, come on. Mm -hmm. Amen. Come unto me. Mm -hmm. Amen. And when Peter was did what? And when Peter was come down out of the ship. Peter was come down out of the ship. He walked on the water. Peter did what? He walked on the water. For what reason? To go to Jesus. To go to Jesus. Yeah. 30 said what? But when he saw the wind boisterous, uh -huh. he was afraid. Uh -huh. And he beginning to sink, uh -huh. he cried saying, Lord, save me. And let me show you something. Yeah. Yeah. When Peter had asked mm -hmm. God, Lord, if it is thou, he asked Jesus, Lord, if it be thou, bid me to come. 
Jesus responded to him and said, come. And when Peter was come down out of the ship, he walked on the water for what reason? To go to Jesus. If Jesus Christ bids you to come unto him, it doesn't matter what obstacles you may think is holding you back. If Jesus bids you to do it, he'll create the opportunity and the avenue and the willpower for you to do it. You just have to have the mind to do it. Yes. For example, let's say Sister, whoever, Sister Talandi, he comes to Sister Talandi. Jesus says, Sister Talandi, come unto me. Sister Talandi got a wardrobe full of pants, which, as you know, is an abomination unto the Lord. Amen? Amen. Amen? Amen. Wearing of pants, ladies, is an abomination unto the Lord. So if he calls Sister Talandi, and Sister Talandi has a wardrobe full of nothing but pants, says, Sister Talandi, come unto me. As long as Sister Talandi has the mind to come unto him, God will create the avenue. God will create what she needs in order to get rid of all those pants. But she has to have the mind to come unto him. Mm-hmm. Brother, the same way. Let's say, let's say, for example, this ain't the case, but the Lord comes unto Deacon Kirby. Mm-hmm. Brother Kirby, the Lord says, Brother Kirby, I want you to come to me. And Brother Kirby is shacking up with Sister Marsha. Mm-hmm. Well, if the Lord calls Brother Kirby out of sin... While he's shacking up with Sister Marsha, that's not the case. They're married. Y'all married, right? 30-something years. 30-something years. Amen. God bless. That's beautiful. So if the Lord calls Brother Kirby, Deacon Kirby, out of sin, Deacon Kirby, for whatever reason, may not have a job, but he's shacking up with Sister Marsha. God will provide Deacon Kirby with the finances that he needs Mm -hmm. to stop shacking up with Sister Marsha. The only thing that Deacon Kirby has to do is have the mindset to once Jesus says, come unto me, have the mind to come unto him. Mm -hmm. Don't think about it and say, Lord, well, it's just too hard. Peter said, Lord, if it's thou, bid me to come unto you. What did Jesus say? Come. Come. Mm-hmm. Come on. Mm-hmm. Yes, that's what he said. And Peter, while he had his mind on going to Jesus, mm-hmm. what was he doing? Walking on water. Walking on water. But yeah. as soon as, as soon as Peter started looking at what was going on around him, mm-hmm. he was straight afraid. down into the water. Mm-hmm. As soon as you take your eyes off of Christ church, start to sink. Mm -hmm. As soon as you take your eyes off of Christ, but like we said, if Jesus bids you to come, Mm -hmm. no matter what the obstacles, no matter what is going on in your life that you may think, Mm -hmm. can I say that? Can I emphasize that? That you may think is holding you back from coming to Jesus, Mm -hmm. God will provide the avenue for escape. Mm -hmm. He'll give you the opportunity. He'll give you exactly what you need in order to get out of sin if you first have the mind. Amen? Mm -hmm. It said, and immediately they stretched forth his hand and caught him and said unto him, what? O thou of little faith. O thou Mm -hmm. of little faith. What's it say? Wherefore didst thou doubt? Uh Uh-huh. And when they... Were come into the ship, the when wind they were ceased. Coming to the ship, mm-hmm. what happened to that wind that was <laughs> tossing to and fro? Mm-hmm. It did what? The wind ceased. It ceased. Amen. And what? And then they were in the then ship. Then they that were in the ship came, came and, and worshiped him, saying, Of a truth, thou art the Son of God. Of a truth, mm-hmm. thou art what? Art the Son of God. Mm. Of a truth. Church, mm-hmm. yes. Jesus is the Son of God. 
God has the power 